Hello YouTube. Konnichiwa. Uh, this is Clickery Ha. Alright. Uh, welcome to Manga 101 uh, Manga Ka FAQ uh, number 2. Alright, this is going to be more uh, about, well, a little add-on to the first FAQ that I did uh, years ago. Alright, you thought this channel was pretty much dead, or at least this playlist. Alright. Well, it's just like what I said uh, in the last video. It all counts. Okay. What I was talking about was uh, monthly mangas. You know, like Shonen Jump and uh, Kura Kura. And also, you know, Best of Comic and uh, cookie, you know, and etc., etc., of those things. I was actually referring them in the first video as, well, uh, manga telephone books. You know, that was the nickname they were given in the United States because they're about the size of a telephone book. Anyways, uh, with those, uh, like I said before, every month they have as a contest. So the best way for you to get your stuff entered is actually submitting it to those companies. Yes, everything that I specified in that video, it still applies, even the standards and all that. If you have any issue, uh, any issue about that, of how to submit it, Usually there is a, a form in the magazine telling you how to do so. Just follow it. Okay, like uh, for the United States. Alright, there is some companies that do shit like that. But most of them, uh, they, uh, they tell you all oh, the information is online. And then you try to find it and they say they're not you know, accepting any more submissions. I don't know if uh, Rising Stars is still, you know, from Tokyo Pop, you know, for the Rising Star campaign still going. Because the last thing I knew, it they stopped doing that for some time. I thought it was completely dead. Might still be, I don't know. I'll probably check on it later today. Okay, uh... Well, here's some basic things. The the size of paper that I use, well, I use a variety of sizes. But typically, for manga, I like using is B4, or sometimes is A4, depending on what I'm making. All right. If you want to do is, let's say, publish your stuff, uh, you can go to the through the traditional routes of submitting your stuff to companies. Uh, a lot of them, it's always the same. You want to do is send them is a one-shot story, which is usually about 52 to 56 pages or so. Uh, depending, you know. And a lot of times, they just want it like less than 30 pages. Okay? Just do like a small thing. Um, let's say your story is so fast that you wanted to go from volume to volume, like that type of thing. This is what you do. Uh, if you're still getting nowhere, well, work at your own pace. Okay? Same thing with the submission guidelines and stuff like that. Use that as a guideline. Uh, just Get your stuff completed for that contest. Remember, it doesn't have to be submitted as quickly as possible like that. So let's say you didn't get it in, uh, you know, all of it done for the deadline for this month. Well, wait until the beginning of the contest of next month to submit it. All right. Um, for other things. I use, like, for pencils and stuff, I use a variety of, of pencils, you know, depending on what it is and what type of shading. Well, typically, I stick between uh, my light stuff. I like using is a 
is uh, photocopy blue pencils. And I don't like to press too hard, so I want them light, so light enough where it can't be picked up by the cameras or something like that, you know, for photocopying, you know, or even with a scanner. But I want it dark enough where I can see it. But still, you know, I don't want it too dark because it, it's, a lot of times it's a pain in the ass to try to erase your marks. Let's say if you made a mistake, you know, just a simple mistake, it happens. All right, I like using for typically my favorite pencils is um, is an HB F. I really like an F more than anything else. Uh, your standard number two pencil, which is which is uh, HP, I believe. Yeah, and then if you want like your dark tones, go you know like your negative space. Uh, don't do that for your final project. Let's say you did was a rough draft, then I suggest using you know your. Graf uh, your darker graphites, but typically, no. You don't want to fill that in. You want to do is wait that, wait until for inking period. So, you want dark enough where 